good understanding of OpenEdX plugins is a cornerstone to creating more robust, more easily upgradable OpenEdX installations. In this video, I'll quickly summarize 26, yeah, let that soak in for a second, 26 coding techniques that will make you a better OpenEdX plugin programmer. So put your thinking caps on. I plan to create individual videos for each of these as time permits, and you can help me prioritize my efforts by leaving your comments below about which techniques you find the most useful. If you don't know me, my name is Lawrence McDaniel, and I both blog as well as create content here on YouTube for full stack developers who, just like me, are on the go and need to get things done. I work with Python, Django, ReactJS, AWS, Kubernetes, and a raft of other technologies that real world clients are demanding today. I freely share what I know so that hopefully you'll never make the same mistakes that I did and so that sooner rather than later you'll be on the road to becoming a full stack developer too. I've been freelancing as a full stack developer for nearly 10 years and I'm the principal author and maintainer of the OpenEdX plugin that we're about to talk about. By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way. I create video content like this as my personal way to get back to the OpenEdX community. Oh. I hope you find it helpful, and if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the like button below, and separately, subscribing to my channel definitely helps with the YouTube search algorithm, so please do that as well. Okay, let's get into it. Keep in mind that the overarching goal of an OpenEdX plugin is to provide you with a means of customizing the functionality of OpenEdX software without actually changing any of the source code that was published by the OpenEdX product team. To that end, this plugin presents an amalgamation of real-world code running on real platforms that I created for real clients to solve real problems. I'm going to show you snippets of pure Python, Django, select third-party libraries of interest, Maco, and lots more. This plugin also strives to present certain Python and Django programming concepts that are fundamental to achieving the goal of not having to fork code originating from the OpenEdX project. This includes concepts like the OpenEdX plugin architecture itself, Django REST framework, Django signals, Django middleware, and also elementary Python concepts like working with Python virtual environments. You can install this plugin in any OpenEdX installation version Juniper or later, regardless of how it was installed. It currently runs in environments that were installed as native builds, installed with Tutor, installed by a cookie cutter OpenEdX, and even using proprietary methods. Don't worry, it'll work. You might also be interested to know that the example plugin is part of the cookie cutter OpenEdX build workflow, which means that the code base is actually running in many OpenEdX installations around the world today. That's important because keeping this code base working correctly requires that it get real world use in the field, so to speak. Without further ado, let's see 26 techniques that you can learn from this repo. I pasted GitHub links for each example in the description section below. 